Ladies and gentlemen, six months ago, I made a predictions video for the 22-23 NFL season. I believe I predicted all the awards, the standings, and of course my Super Bowl pick. I don't really have much to say. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. MVP I'm going with Josh Allen. Ah, ah! I got the first one wrong. Okay, we're 11 seconds in. I'm already 0 for one. All right. I don't think it's gonna be Mahomes because you know they have Juju. Be some. Wow. I overestimated Juju, guys. I thought he was going to keep dancing. I, I I don't know why he stopped. Coach of the year. Coach of the year. Hey, Kyle Shanahan. That's my coach. Mm, I should have been Shanahan. I can't believe they gave it to that Clash of Clans Giants. Comeback player of the Comeback year. Of the year. Crab legs himself. Okay, to be fair though, who on this planet thought it was Geno Smith? You know what? Another thing, I, I couldn't believe Geno Smith won. I didn't know you could come back from just being ass and win comeback player of the year. I didn't know that was the criteria. Offensive player of the year. Go with Justin Jefferson. Yes. Okay. Okay. See, no one saw that coming before the season except for yours truly. You know what I'm saying? Let's go. Tell me why, Hefe. Tell me why you thought Justin Jefferson was going to win offensive player of the year. Kevin O'Connell, you know, new offense. He contributed mm -hmm. to Cooper Cup's success. He comes over to the Vikings. Mm -hmm. And for whatever reason, offensive player of the year is never a quarterback. It's always mm -hmm. a running back or a wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Somebody get me on ESPN, CBS, Fox. Moving on. Defensive player of the year. Oh, I'm God. going with my boy. What do I say? Okay. 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 Yes. <laughs> I said my boy Nick Bosa. I'm kind of killing this. Hold on. I didn't think Micah Parsons was not going to get a single vote. But then I saw this clip. I have a foot fetish. A foot fetish? Yeah. You like toes? And, and it all made sense. Offensive rookie of the year. This is a tough one, but I'm going to go with Traylon Burks. Washington. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, you know, I, I see what you were going for there. Oh, Traylon, 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 look nice. It was cool, he got injured though. Guys, he got injured. Let's move on though, defensive rookie of the year. I'm gonna roll with Sauce. His name's Sauce. <laughs> okay, you know what? At least I got that one right. Defensive rookie of the year was Sauce. Saw a bunch of people saying that it was Tariq Woolen. No. That boy's a bum. All right, he's cheeks. I don't wanna hear from you Seahawks fans, he's ass. Does he have like a chicken wing or something? Yeah, he's got a chicken wing with Buffalo Wild Wings, bro. Like, come on, man, this is guy, this guy's locked down. So those are my awards. Look at that analysis. I pretty much said he was gonna win defensive rookie of the year because he had a chicken wing like where are you gonna find this content on youtube you won't afc east AFC bills east. dolphins patriots jets I hold on bills dolphins patriots Jets. what was the actual one bills dolphins patriots jets come on man i know the afc east see i'm just an afc east kind of guy afc east it's just I, I love the AFC East. You know why I said this at the time? Because I watched every snap in preseason of only the AFC East teams. I I, I, I purposely did that. We went 4 4. Let's move on. AFC North. Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. Now, did I cash that? Bengals, Ravens, Steelers, Browns. <laughs> I, I, I just know it! Next up, AFC South. Okay, this one's hard. I got the Colts, Titans, oh, Jaguars, oh, and oh, Texans. Oh, 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 oh. I mean, I had the Texans in the last. What I had Colts, Titans, Jaguars. It went Jaguars, Titans, Colts. I had the Titans in second. It's not terrible. I went two for four in this division. I don't know how I had the Colts in first, though. Colts at number one. I like Matt Ryan. I don't think he's done yet. I don't think he's out of his prime just yet. I was thinking about maybe putting... <laughs> Why was I such a big Matt Ryan believer? It's not even the fact that I just said that. It's just the fact that I said it with like so much conviction. Colts at number one. I like Matt me, Ryan. Me, I don't mean I'm like lean back in my chair. AFC West. I genuinely don't remember what I said here. Well, let's think of West. I have oh, the God. Raiders at one, the Chiefs at two, the Chargers at three, and the Denver Broncos at four. Okay. No, wait, no, no, there's no. Nah, he needs to be drug tested. Nah, I, I don't know this guy. Raiders at one! Nah, there's no way I picked Josh McDaniel over Andy Reid. Guys, this isn't me. Guys, this is a clone. Oh, I got Broncos at four, though. I don't know, man. I don't think a lot of people have the Raiders at number one in the division, but I do. Chiefs yeah, at yeah, number I, two. Yeah, I don't know why you did. I don't know why! Why? Why? You look so stupid, man. You, look, you, you sound so foolish, man. Chiefs, Bills, Bengals, Jaguars. So none of that was right. The wild card teams were the Chargers, Ravens, Dolphins. Cheese, Chargers, Broncos. Okay, yeah, I went 0 for 7 here. But before we move on to the rest of the predictions, then, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. We are so close to hitting 100K. I'm shaming all of this for a video at 100K, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. Let's keep it moving, man. NFC, let's hear what I gotta say. NFC East. I got the Eagles at 1, Eagles? Cowboys at 2, Cowboys? Commanders at 3, Ooh. and the Giants at 4. Ooh, I mean, that was close. Eagles, Cowboys, Giants, Commanders. Okay, I had the Eagles and Cowboys. And commanders, they're just a mess like they actually might be one of the worst franchises in the nfl but That's they're true. not worse than the giants who i think might be the worst team in the nfl all i mm. 
Oh, Giants won a playoff game too. Oh, away playoff game too. Oh, oh okay. All right, that might be my worst one. Let's just keep moving, man. NFC North. I got the Packers, Vikings, Lions, and Bears. I'm taking. Packers, no. Vikings, Lions, Packers, Bears. I, I went one for four. We're off to a hot start, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty bad so far. Let's see if we can make it up with the NFC South here. I got the Buccaneers, the Saints, the Panthers, and the Falcons. I went two for four. I got the first and last place right, which honestly isn't that bad. They all finished seven and ten. Michael Thomas is back. Kamara's gonna stay on the field. And I think with the addition of the Honey Badger, man, I think the Saints could be a force to be reckoned with in the NFC force to be reckoned with saints a force a, a force to be reckoned with at the, the saints <laughs> who says that why did i say that why why did you say that last but not least my division the go, nfc guys. west the nfc, NFC west. best Niners at one yep. rams at two oh. cardinals at three oh. seacocks at four I think oh. oh no we all knew the niners were going to be first so that wasn't really up for discussion i went 0 for 3 for the rest of the division okay i didn't know stafford was going to die same with cooper cup all right same with kyler who saw geno smith coming you know what let me hear my explanation the only concern i have for us is our o-line okay because our defense our db room we finally address it we have a deep db room we have a deep d line with one of the best linebackers in the nfl we yep. have one of the best linebacking cores in the nfl yep. i sound biased i know but i genuinely think the 49ers are the team to beat in the nfc come on man i know my team guys i, I swear one of the main reasons why brock purdy and josh johnson got hurt was because of our o line and that is the biggest thing we need to address as a team in the offseason is the o line especially the right side kyle john hire me john last but not least the seahawks definitely gonna be the worst team in the division Gino Smith Gino Smith no chance no chance no chance that's a lottery team bro that's a lottery team <laughs> <laughs> all right yeah that, that that's the worst one that, that's the worst one this video that was the worst one but, but, but to be fair who thought Gino Smith was gonna be good who come on my NFC rankings Niners Bucks Eagles Packers Rams Saints Cowboys what was the actual order I went Eagles Niners Vikings Bucks Cowboys Giants Seahawks okay I went 0 for 7 again Super Bowl prediction the two Super teams Bowl. that I think are making the Super Bowl are come on have the 49ers and the Buffalo Bills. I think this is going to be the matchup in the Super Bowl. And I got my 49ers winning our sixth Super Bowl. The first one I get to see in my lifetime, hopefully. I got them. It should have been us, man. It should have been us. Oh, y'all are so lucky Brock Purdy got injured because it would have been us. I got them winning 34 to 31 over the Bills in the Super Bowl. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about. All right, well, that's just depressing. But yeah, those were my preseason NFL predictions. I look skinnier in this video. I need to stop eating. I need to hit the gym. But let me know what you guys thought in the comments down below. I thought I did okay. I, I don't know. I, I thought it was all right. Right? I think. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are new, I will be giving away a million dollars to every person who clicks the subscribe button. So um, if you subscribe, you're pretty much Jeff Bezos.